Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this video series from. Peter here again. Today we are going to be looking into a different topic on how to create dynamic group for autopilot devices in Microsoft Intern. So let's get started. Once we are able to access the Endpoint Manager Admin Center, we are going to navigate to Groups. Now we are going to click on Create our New Groups. Then we have to have it on security and uh, this is going to be, let me put it on, uh, let's see what we can do here, let me pull it autopilot. So I'm going to give it a group description, autopilot test users devices. So. Here we have a uh, three membership type, the one of assigned actually. You can check some information about the uh, membership type. Uh, if you choose assign, uh, what is going to happen is that you need to either assign the member to it. If you choose dynamic user, what happened here is that for example, if I click on it, how I just had a query that is going to assign user maybe based on location. For all, let's say country, I can say equal to, then I can put Costa Rica. So what happened is every user that have their country attributes or properties to equal Costa Rica, that means they will be under this group. But in this case, we're not creating a, we're not creating a group for users. We're going to do devices. So we're going to have the dynamic query. And what we wanted to do here is to add a custom expression. With Windows Autopilot, it has to be, there's an example right here that you can actually follow. But well, most of the time, what we have here is device dot devices device. I'm sorry. Physical ID. Then we're going to look for. Hmm, I don't think I have that on my keyboard. Or maybe I just don't know where it is. I'm going to find it and copy that character. Oh yeah, there you go. I couldn't find that. So <laughs> it's dash any, then space a little bit, brackets, underscore, then you do contains, then you're going to do apostrophe, not that one, this one, and zero touch ID. And that's it. That's everything that we need here. If you want to find this information, you can actually do a research and you can get this, uh, this query. There's a lot of query that you can make, just like the one on the net. It just depends on what you're trying to do. All right, now that we have that, we just click on OK. And that's it. We click on Save, Create. So we're just going to wait a little bit to see the group that we create. Normally it takes like one or two minutes, I guess. We're just going to refresh. All right, there you go. That is going to be all uh, how to create the dynamic group for autopilot devices in Microsoft Intel. I hope this video is actually informative. Thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye for now.